Lawmakers in New York continue to work to shut down the puppy mill pipeline. Legislation would end the retail sale of dogs, cats and rabbits in pet stores across the state. Paulina Butska investigates. Growing up, I distinctly remember my parents dragging me away from the storefronts of animal pet shops, especially those with live little fuzzballs playing and running around. It didn't dawn on me then any more than it did while sitting down many years later with Bill Ketzer, the senior government relations specialist with the ASPCA, where these entertaining four-legged friends come from. If somebody were to see where these puppies were actually, you know, born and bred, if it was in someone's household, they would be brought up on cruelty charges. The reality isn't as playful or cheery as those storefronts make it out to be. These animals have become what Ketzer calls a widget that doesn't get proper veterinary care, grooming or socialization. New legislation penned by Assemblywoman Linda Rosenthal and Senator Michael Gianaris called the Puppy Mill Pipeline Bill aims to get rid of retail sales of dogs and cats at local pet shops. There are about 80 retail stores that are still selling dogs and cats. Ketzer explains animal retail is a booming billion dollar industry racking in $103 billion yearly and that number only further supported by COVID and animal sales. But only about 2% of these billions come from direct sales of cats and dogs. He says in the past, legislation like this hasn't made it very far, and sit-downs with major players in this industry have not been very fruitful. This part of this industry is built exclusively on animal suffering. Opponents of the legislation try to say, well, this is uh, you know, a regulated industry. They even venture as far as to say it's a heavily regulated industry. Paulina Butska, News Channel 13. And this bill has passed in the Senate. It's now up to the Assembly to act.